more of your story, Blueberry. Please! <laughs> All right, then. The big freeze lasted for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Bluebelly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring, uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. Oh, I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrick and Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, you hand me that wubsilator, would you? There you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a wubsilator? Uh, hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That, over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know what? It still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed? Let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy sky blades and we can put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. The what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I... <gasps> the pods. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your Regatta Queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mail? Got a buzz. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, you would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry Bruce. 
Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Uh, am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh, oh thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go, uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. Nicely done. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, hi Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tord, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show while all the Barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, oh, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? Hear someone say surprise? Yeah, I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry, we won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got Super Bitty Aqua Berry King Blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got Super Bitty Fern Tendril Free to Firefly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Barry King Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! Whoa! I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry King Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry King Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I... I... I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, Earl. Mm-hmm. Uh, say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the... Surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, 
You know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. Me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and, and the water doesn't, um, get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. I'll see ya later. Ugh, umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <laughs> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking. And maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, tell us! us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> mm -hmm. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your models modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, evening, Ed. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, gee. boss. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hooked up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right. Boy, oh boy, everyone's gonna be surprised. Ooh, they're getting kind of cold, boss. Yeah, well, 
Let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. frozen lake. We can icy skite on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skites away. Oh, wow. We could... We could just... What was that? Well, I was thinking of Blueberry's icy skites and... Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense? Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good. And should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah. Like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A uh, kind of, I don't know, a winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a, uh... A centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful! We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! A great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites... Oh, 
like how Barry King Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. I could be alone all day, by myself in the cafe. It doesn't matter what I do. Everything is better with you. Everything is better with you. And so, the very long winter had come and gone and come back again. This time, no one knew how long it would stay. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities. she's taking us on a vacation we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! Woo! Oh, Super swell! Oh, yay! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time with feeling Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> wow! Finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised! Surprised by what? Oh! Uh, uh... We're practicing for my new play! 
Hey! <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh, see if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh sure, Strawberry. Come on. <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're gonna go snorkeling on our vacation! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. <laughs> this is the best way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... <laughs> You silly. <laughs> Come on. What did you say? I said that was close. What's she doing now? you if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you, you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure, just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. Word. Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hiya, Blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love it's mine. What we need. What's wrong, Blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island. And, <laughs> can you believe it? There are... Um, uh, no restaurants there, anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, huh, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, 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 no, no. Oh, I'll be very oh, hungry. Oh, Did you tell Strawberry? No, I mean, I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's got to act. I'm sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. <laughs> we won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Ooh, ooh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts. Yeah! No, you can't. I, I mean, the island food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps, uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Oh, that was awful. I hope they 
aren't too disappointed. What's a vote, Blueberry? <sighs> oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of... made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> May I ask, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Uh, I'll see you later, Bosley Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. That's it! Higher! Higher! Just because we're bitty doesn't mean we can't bounce big! <laughs> Blueberry! Go practice! We're not going hungry on vacation. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can't-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry! No, wait! Blueberry? We'll have to work on the landing, but look at all the fruit you picked. Nothing's gonna stop us. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, girls, but, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, well, the trip is off. <gasps> Strawberry canceled it? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, she will. Yeah, uh, I did some more research, and, uh... A very big blue jay! So? So, well, <laughs> the uh, only airline that flies to be on the Berry Breeze Island is, uh, called Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> and believe me, it is bad news. You sit on a bird and hang on for dear life, and they don't even land. You have to jump. You have to bring your own parachute. Own parachute? Aww. Thank you, Miss. I guess we won't be going to be on the very breeze. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Poor things. They were so let down. What if you just told them about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened? <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now, because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. <gasps> <laughs> for that wild ride on Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> it's not impossible. In fact, it's gonna be fun. Come on, join us. Oh, maybe some other time? Like now? <laughs> I'm okay. Mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete freefall. Freefall! Freefall? Must I? It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. Help! What do we do? I don't know. Think of something. Just give up on me. It's hopeless. Better just leave me here. That's right. Leave me. It's better this way. I don't deserve to be rescued. Bye to you, 
with these. We won't give up on you. Blueberry Muffin, our friend so true. Hang on, Blueberry. We'll save you. This is Plum Pudding to Berry Bitty Rescue Squad. Are we ready to tangle Foxtrot Waltz? Ready to rumba, Plum Pudding? Then let's begin Operation Untangle Wangles. What's going on? Good job, squad. Time for Operation Arrive Alive. Prepare to dive. Dive? Dive how? What is this diving? Good job, Blueberry! See, Blueberry? We would never give up on you. And don't worry, we're not giving up on our vacation either. Yes. I can see that. <laughs> wow! What you doing with all these birds? Um, um, Blueberry got stuck. Yeah, stuck. <laughs> Up in that flower? Yeah, flower. However, did you get way up there in the first place? Uh, well, um, I think I need to speak to Strawberry alone. What is it, Blueberry? You know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend. I don't know if you will be after I tell you. I... I overheard you talking about that island. The one in your essay. Oh, my describe your dream destination essay for the contest? Yes, except... I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And... I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, my strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well, don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was all my misunderstanding. to be no vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be no vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No blue jays? Mangoes, snork... Blue jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays, it sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. Great idea! Will you all help me write it? Give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond the Berry Breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it. Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work! Yeah! Yeah! Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all
explore Down on the ocean floor Dive in and swim around for a while Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the left Ready to start making finger sandwiches for the tea party? Oh, better than that, Miss Shortcake. I spent the entire night thinking up new culinary treats. Perfect for tea parties. What do you think of a wheat, grass, corn, husk, and pickled butter puff? It sounds very... uh... interesting. I... <laughs> can't wait to try it. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> 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 I can't play now. Do you want to come in? Cake <laughs> 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 custard. <laughs> you two. Come on. You'll have to stay out of the way. Are you ready to try my spectacular wheat, grass, corn husk, and pickled butter puff? Oh. Um, <laughs> yes. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is very, um, hmm, different. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Maybe an acquired taste. You know, something you have to get used to. Not for everyone, are they? <laughs> you need a sense of adventure to enjoy them. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Longface, it might be too much adventure for me, but maybe others will take to them. <gasps> How'd you... Oh, are you all right? Oh, you want to play? <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you, I'm just too busy today. Next creation! The first ever strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, lemon orange plum tea sandwich. Ooh, strange. Strange? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant that is strange. Custard and Pupcake didn't come back for lunch. Ooh, oh my. Uh, that's not only strange, it, it's... why, it's unheard of. Oh dear. I hope something hasn't happened to them. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. They're probably just... Oh... Out 
playing and just lost track of time. <laughs> Watch out for the pops! Shh! Mr. Longface is pride and joy. His wheatgrass corn husk can pickle butter pops. Strawberry? What's so interesting out there? Oh! Uh, nothing. They're not back yet? Who's not back yet? Oh, Custard and Pupcake. Have you seen them? Are they missing? Oh, I'm sure they're just plain. <laughs> you know those two. Poor things. What if something's happened to them? Now, don't worry. They'll come back when they're ready. about those two helpless little creatures out there. <laughs> Maybe lost in the big world. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Longface. After the tea party, I'll go out and find them. If there's anything I can do to help. That's very kind of you. Perhaps later you could keep things going here while I step outside and call them. Happily. Uh, just say when. Uh, now. <laughs> this long, have they? Don't worry, girls. I'll find them in no time. I know all their favorite spots. Please, go back and enjoy the party. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug will think they've been abandoned. But we can help you look, Strawberry. But they've been looking forward to this party for weeks. The ladybugs won't miss me. But if you leave, I mean, <laughs> the party just started. Party is over. I do apologize, Miss Shortcake. I couldn't stop them. We can have a tea party any old time, but right now, we're having a search party to help you find your pets. And we brought finger sandwiches. Good oh, yeah. yeah! Thank you, everyone. What are friends for? <laughs> reading a Patty Persimmon mystery book that Blueberry recommended, and there's a search party scene, and they were able to find a missing Glimmerberry by splitting up. Great idea! Oh, uh, Katie Bag and I will distribute food and drinks to all parties soon as she gives me the basket! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bug. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Now, quick, guys, we're off. Have to supply the Americans. <laughs> thank you. Wait, that looks like a Mr. Longface special. Oh, uh, thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll just save this for later. Hmm. I think I'll do the 
same. Hmm. An Arboralis linaria usually stands straight up. The pets must have been through here and bent it. Oh, wonderful observation, Berrikin Bloom. Wow. This is really reminding me of the mystery Blueberry gave me. The search party was in a dark woods like this. And while they were tracking the missing Glimmerberry, the mean, nasty, very naughty thief was tracking them! Oh. oh, hey! I read that mystery. Patty Persimmon, genius detective, on the case of the mean, nasty, very naughty Glimmerberry thief. Exactly how mean, nasty, and um, uh, what was the rest? Very naughty. Oh, dear. But it turns out it wasn't a thief at all. <sighs> Thank goodness. It was really a forest <gasps> monster. Yeah, they call it the Slither Slider. <laughs> Did you hear? Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, perhaps something that sounded sort of like a... Slither? Oh, uh, not, not at all. Wait for us! I would not estimate that they would come this far. I don't recognize this area. It's not even on the map I printed out. And there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um, doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You're clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. strikes in the rain. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Into this rain? Well, we have to find the pets. Uh-oh. Uh, quick, up here. This way. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, it's Brian here. Come on. Uh. Just look at that. Someone's been littering. Strawberry always says, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring into the wilderness, you should bring out. Did you hear that? Oh, I'm afraid that I did. It couldn't be the slither slider. Ah! Oh, my. Handing out search party snacks is super hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, let's have a rest. Oh, why not enjoy a snack ourselves? Oh, hey. I 
I'm saving that sandwich for me! Finders keepers! Losers! Waiters! Uh, nah, uh. We're over here. Listen, it's coming closer. Oh, Tothrot! to come home, but they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? <laughs> Strawberry, are you just the night air uh, making me 
sniffle. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but I'm just so scared I won't find them. And, and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them, but I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away, not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. And if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Barry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? Pop cake! Ha, <laughs> ha,